welcome back to my channel in today's video we're going to be looking at the concept of equimarginal utility so in our previous video we established the fact that consumer equilibrium occurs where marginal utility is equal to price so what happens in a situation when we are looking at, let's say, more than one good, if it's two goods being consumed, right? This law must still hold true for each good. So let's look at the situation, um, jumping off from our previous example, right? In our former video, when we're looking at the case where it's carnival time, we're exercising around the savannah, and we decide we're going to buy some coconut water. Now, let's assume you want to buy coconut water and you might be feeling a little hungry too, so we're going to get some boiled corn. So, our two goods would be coconut water and boiled corn. How are we going to get consumer equilibrium happening here, considering that it's two goods and holding true to these um, principles here? So, we're going to do this with a little math here now. So... How we would do this, we're going to have some equations. So the first equation we're going to have, we're going to call this equation 1. And we're going to say that the marginal utility of coconut water is equal to the price of coconut water. Alright, remember we said M U is equal to price. Yes? That's our consumer equilibrium. Then we're going to have a second equation called equation 2, where the MU of boiled corn is going to be equal to the price of boiled corn. So this is the equation 2. What you will then do is divide equation 1 by equation 2. Divide equation 1 by equation 2 and you'll end up getting the MU of coconut water divided by the MU of boil corn being equal to the price of coconut water over the price of boil corn right now we can rearrange this equation um, or what we would call cross multiply right we can cross multiply or rearrange the equation so that we get something looking um, like this so we could call this one before we move on we can call this one equation three and we can move on to now equation four we'll have a situation where we'll have the mu of i'll just put c slash water for short right is equal to mu of coconut water sorry over the price of coconut coconut water is equal to the mu of boiled corn over the price of uh, boiled corn so notice with the cross multiplication right we switch this so the price of coconut water came here and the me of boiled corn came here and this here is what we would call the equimarginal um, utility concept being applied here and so we could generalize this equation for all all goods and services so you'd find that we will get the MU of good A over the price of good A is equal to the MU of good B over the price of good B, which is equal to the MU of good C over the price of good C which is equal to and dot dot dot, right? Infinite possibilities of all the goods and services consumed, right? And like I said, this is what we would call the equimarginal utility. So if ever they ask you to stay the equimarginal utility, this is what they are speaking of here. 
right and so this needs to hold true for utility to be maximized with respect to all goods and services consumed now i haven't seen any questions where they would ask you for the proofs which is what i would have done here to show you how we would have derived at the equimarginal utility you would just need to remember um the law you need to remember this but it's still good for you to know how we would derive at this principle it came from holding true to the mu is is equal to price principle and applying it to all goods and services so again to recap our equi marginal condition this is what it is here right if you want me to work out some questions using the equi marginal condition please state it in the comments below I'm Ms. Lucio and I make economics videos. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe and remember to hit that notification bell.